Okay, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning on behalf of the ITU Secretary General. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to this open consultation meeting on public policy considerations for OTTs. Our chairman, Majed Al Majed, unfortunately, could not join with us today due to unavoidable commitment in Saudi Arabia. Uh, let me thank Vacheslav Erukin from the Russian Federation, a vice chairman of this council working group, for stepping forward to chair today's meeting. This meeting follows the procedures of the four previous physical consultation meetings. We will begin with a panel discussion to frame the issues at hand. The experts on this panel represents a variety of stakeholders in this debate. I thank our panelists for their invaluable support to today's meeting. The past 10 years have hosted tremendous ICT innovation. Consumers are gaining access to new ICT services and the business dynamics of the digital ecosystem continue to evolve at a rapid pace. OTTs have played an important role in this innovation. This open consultation has attracted a record 71 contributions. This offers evidence of the increasing interest in moving this debate forward at the international level. I'd like to thank all of the participants in the online consultation leading to this meeting. The views shared during this online consultation are certain to make a valuable contribution to the related discussions of the Council Working Group on International Internet Related Public Policy Issues, which will meet from this Wednesday to Friday. Let me conclude by thanking you all for your participation in this meeting. I also offer a special vote of thanks to our expert panelists and the moderator. Let me hand over to our chairman, Vacheslav Erukin, for the approval of the agenda. I wish you your most productive discussions. Thank you very much. Uh, let's start uh, next item of our agenda, physical open consultation. And first of all, I would like to express my uh, sincere thanks to Dr. Uh, Chisap Lee for his kind of uh, presence this morning. Uh, as well, before starting a discussion, I would like also, uh, uh, also thank the expert of the panel session for their, uh, for their valuable contribution to the meeting. Uh, upon request of uh, CVG Internet, 2017 session of ITU Council decided on 25th of May to hold an open consultation online and physical on topic of public policy consideration of OTTs. Uh, in this regard, uh, 71 responses were received, and this is a very good result. Uh, uh, most probably it's the highest number of responses which we received uh, for the time being. Uh, from uh, many stakeholders, variety of stakeholders and uh, regions, uh, sharing their views and expression of topics uh, um, in question related to uh, topic of open consultation. Uh, responses were received from 10 governments, 44 private sector entities and industry associations, 13 uh, civil society representatives, two academia, and two intergovernmental organizations. Uh, all responses received uh, are, are public, uh, publicly available on our ITU uh, website. 
On the screen, you can see a compilation, uh, compilation document prepared by uh, ITU Secretariat, uh, which was published online as well in advance of uh, physical open consultation. Available uh, intervention, and uh, let's go uh, uh, further. And we have one more request uh, with early, uh, early uh, presentation from Internet, uh, Internet Society uh, Blockchain Special Interest Group, uh, United States. Is anybody here? Or it will be presented remotely? Hello? Uh, hi. Uh, let's start. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Mohamed Al-Kandri. I'm uh, uh, attending from uh, Toronto, Canada. Thank you for accommodation request. I'm uh, representing the Internet Society uh, Blockchain uh, Special Interest Group. There are participants of the ITU Council Working Group on the International Internet uh, Related Public Place Meeting. On behalf of the Blockchain Special Interest Group of the Internet Society, the authors of this, of this submission are uh, Judy Celestin, Renata Yuri Barrow, Hossein Badran, and myself. I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to share our position on the public policy consideration of the over-the-top services. Over-the-top services are taking lately an upward trend, driving innovation and diversification of its service offerings. They are transforming how we communicate, interact, work, play, and create many more opportunities for consumer choice. While we have made great progress on the technology side, the revenues and growth are unevenly distributed worldwide. Hence, we do believe that blockchain technology can play a role to address this situation, whether to help the publishers to trace their production empower independent users to produce, share, and monetize peer-to-peer -peer content, improve transparency and freedom of expression, or help decrease corporate infringement. As OTTs expand in popularity, governments are faced with the decision of whether or how to intervene. There is no one-size-fits-all solution that can be applied to uh, different and diverse countries. What we can do is to suggest some good principles to follow. Telecom regulators should recognize how different rules and regulations are. And using a lighter touch on the regulation could enhance the innovation economy, create new businesses, and stimulate economic growth. Ladies and gentlemen, another roadblock to OTT's popularity is the unconnected population around the world. As of 2013, 4.4 billion people worldwide do not have access to the Internet. The majority of them in developing countries. This is more than half of the population of the world today. We do believe that the development of the OTT services is incomplete without true technology inclusiveness. We do acknowledge the efforts already deployed to achieve this goal and the cost-benefit uh, benefit balance of such huge infrastructure investment, uh, especially in low-density areas. As an example, Blockstream launched recently its first satellite network to broadcast globally the Bitcoin blockchain from the space. We think that this is a great example of how blockchain technology can help reduce the infrastructure gap and bring billions of population around the globe to, to the OTT ecosystem. In addition, blockchain technology can be leveraged to provide self-sovereign identity management systems for OTT applications. Systems that can provide the end user with full ownership of their own information. It can also improve the ability to trace how the information is exchanged amongst OTT service providers or other third parties. 
whether traditional or, auto or autonomous, in a trusted distributed network. Finally, countries should create enabling environments uh, in which all stakeholders group are able to grow and thrive by adopting the open internet principles. Local and international partnerships are necessary to scale up the over-the-top services, and blockchain can be of a great help to achieve distributed partnership models. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for interesting uh, contribution, uh, especially uh, regarding such hot topic as blockchain. And any comments, any uh, questions to speaker? No, as I said.